Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. Let's get started. Moving up, we have the most versatile model out there. Let's take a look. Number five, Lenovo Tab 4. If you're looking for a tablet to use while lounging on the living room couch, or you need something to keep the kids entertained on a long road trip, the Lenovo might have you covered. The Tab 4 8 is an 8-inch slate with a compact build and a reasonable spec for average media consumption. Plastic is the order of the day when it comes to the Tab 4 8. The sides have a smooth faux metal look and feel, while the back has a grippy soft touch finish. The tablet measures in at 8.3 by 4.9 by 0.3 inches and at 10.9 ounces, making it a bit easier to handle for extended periods of time than the Fire HD 8, which is 8.4 by 5 by 0.4 inches and 13 ounces. The build quality feels solid, though it isn't officially rugged or waterproof. If you're planning to use it as a kid's tablet, you will want to invest in a protective case. The Lenovo Tab 4 looks unremarkable and simple. It has a satisfyingly smooth back panel with a soft touch that's comfortable to hold. Its angular edges are reminiscent of the Amazon Fire HDX 8.9, but it's not as light as the discontinued Amazon tablet. The slate is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor clocked at 1.4 GHz. It's a common chipset for tablets in this price range, registering 36,595 on the N22 benchmark which serves as a measure of overall system performance. That's a bit less than Snapdragon 617 powered Verizon Ellipsis HD8, which is 45,684 as a score, but better than the Acer Iconia 1.8 MediaTek AE163 processor with 34,184. The Tab 4 8 has 2GB of RAM, making it feel relatively fast compared to the Fire HD 8's 1.5GHz, the extra bit of memory lets you open apps more quickly, multitask more smoothly, and basically just experience slightly better performance overall. If you push the Tab 4 8 too hard, you'll start to encounter some slowdown, but it will handle standard media consumption just fine. The only thing you can't do is play high-end games. Battery life is great. The tablet lasted for 6 hours 30 minutes of streaming full-screen video over Wi-Fi at maximum screen brightness, longer than the Fire HD 8. The Tab 4 8 is a solid tablet with good battery life. It's well suited for media consumption, kids and travel, especially if you need access to the Google Play Store. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number 4. Fire HD 10 With a sharp display and hands-free Alexa integration, Amazon's 10-inch Fire HD 10 tablet is the best value for your dollar. Like other Fires, it's an inexpensive one, $149.99 with the lock screen ads a great way to consume Amazon content. At first glance, it doesn't appear to be the barn-burning deal that the Fire HD 8 is, but it still offers plenty of bang for your buck. You get a sharp 1080p display, solid overall performance, and an easy-to-use UI that includes parental controls and Alexa voice assistant integration. Even though it's the same hardware released in 2017, the Fire HD 10 simply remains the best 10-inch tablet for the price. Fire HD 10 looks and feels like a larger Fire HD 8. It's a solidly built tablet with a black, blue or orange plastic body. The slate measures 10.3 by 6.3 by 0.4 and weighs 17.4 ounces. That's bigger than the 8-inch HD 8, 8.4 by 5 by 0.4 inches and 13 ounces, but similar to other 10-inch tablets like the Lenovo Tab 4 10, 9.7 by 6.7 by 0.3 inches and 17.7 .7 ounces. It's a sturdy slab that'll survive some knocks and dings, but it isn't officially rugged or waterproof. If you want to use it as a kid's tablet, pick up a case. There are loud dual speakers on the left side, or the bottom if you're holding it in landscape orientation, along with a standard headphone jack, a USB port and a micro SD card slot to supplement the 32GB of internal storage. It worked fine with a 256GB card. The HD10 has a 10.1-inch 1920x1200 pixel screen, which is better than the 1280x800 screens most of the competitors come out with. The resolution works out to 224 pixels per inch, which is good enough to show real 1080p video with solid viewing angles. Inside, the Fire HD10 runs Amazon's latest Fire OS 5.5, a heavily modified version of Google's Android, on a 1.8GHz MT8173B MediaTek processor. 
In Geekbench's single-core and multi-core performance tests, the HD10 scored 1,500 and 3,000 respectively, more than double the HD8 at 629 and 1687. It also outperformed the Tab 410 by a similar margin, 680 and 1898. The Fire 7 and 8 are pretty decent tablets too, but the HD10, while more expensive, boasts a bigger, sharper screen, a more powerful processor and more RAM. This next model has the best performance on the list, and it's worth checking out. Number 3. Dragon Touch Notepad K10 Moving on, we have another amazing tablet. It's the Dragon Touch Notepad K10. This Notepad K10 tablet features a wide and remarkable 800x1280 IPS display, which presents a brilliant display with more abundant colors and more delicate picture quality from all angles. To be more humane, the Notepad K10 Android tablet comes with eye care mode, which automatically adjusts and optimizes the backlight. It makes you read comfortably at night. Ultimate Entertainment Experience The Dragon Touch Notepad K10 tablet comes with included dual speakers, providing a robust audio experience for your favorite music, videos, and games. Besides, dual Wi-Fi mode provides two choices for network, 2.4 and 5 GHz. With high-speed network connections, you can feel free to surf, video chat, play games, watch movies, or TV series, and so on. The Dragon Touch Notepad K10 has a simple but also not so simple design. The fashion, line clear and slim metal body look more like artwork. Even so, it still has built-in 32GB storage and supports up to 128GB micro SD card to expand the storage. You can download and store your favorite books, music, photos, videos, games and everything you like in this slim metal 10-inch tablet. Dragon Touch Notepad K10 comes with 2GB of RAM, 32GB hard disk and a 64-bit quad-core processor, offering the smooth performance of playing videos, browsing the internet, running light games, etc. Google Android 9.0 Pie enhances performance and reduces ads, giving you a more customized experience. The K10 includes a new 8 megapixel camera, take incredibly post-worthy photos or videos whenever you feel inspired, or record memorable moments for a birthday party, the family get-together, etc. The 2 megapixel front camera allows video calling with friends, families who live apart, and the 32 gigabyte storage you can store tons of photos, ebooks, music, videos, and movies, etc. Plus, the Dragon Touch Notepad K10 tablet supports expandable memory by micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes. Enough room for everything from your go-to shows to your favorite memories. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Lenovo Smart Tab M10 Tablets often go unused, and when you do want to play with it, it's probably dead because you forgot to charge it. At least that's what happens to me. Lenovo, however, has come up with a potential solution to the neglected tablet dilemma, the Smart Tab. It was a finalist for the best CES this year in the smart home category, and here's why. You can place it inside a companion Bluetooth speaker dock, at which point it becomes an Alexa-powered smart display, similar to Amazon's Echo Show. This way, when the smart tab is not being used as a tablet, it still has a purpose as a smart display. And unlike a normal smart display that's meant to stay in one place, it, of course, can also be used as a portable tablet. As a standalone Android device, the smart tab is pretty mediocre, but as a smart display, it's great. The Lenovo Smart Tab P10 is a 2-in-1 Android tablet that transforms into a surprisingly capable Echo Show clone when docked into a companion Bluetooth speaker. It offers a great screen, solid audio quality, and is a lot more functional than Amazon's own smart display. All told, the Smart Tab P10 delivers an impressive amount of functionality, especially at this price. The M10 is the more entry-level with a soft-touch rubberized finished back, 32GB of storage, two front-facing Dolby Atmos speakers, a 4850mAh battery, a 5MP rear camera, and a 2MP camera on the front. The P10, which is the one I'm reviewing today, is slightly higher end with 64GB of storage, four front-facing Dolby Atmos speakers, a 7000 mAh battery, an 8MP rear camera and a 5MP one up the front. Both have the usual volume and power buttons on the side, plus a USB-C connector and a headphone jack. It's equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 processor, which makes it much more of a low to mid-range slate, despite its lovely display. Overall, it's one of the best tablets under $200, without a doubt. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy Tab A 8-inch 
Whether you're looking for an inexpensive tablet for weekend-long Netflix binges or need something you can easily toss in your bag for your morning commute, Amazon isn't your only option. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A is an 8-inch slate with decent specs and some software features you won't find on similarly priced competitors. And unlike Amazon's Fire tablets, you get unfettered access to the Google Play App Store. That makes the Tab A a solid, budget-friendly option for media consumption and Android gaming. Samsung's mid-range A-series tablets are created with casual users in mind. Sizes in the Tab A family range from 7 to 10.5 inches. For the most part, they are both Wi-Fi and LTE variants for each tablet in the series, with LTE models coming in at about a $50 premium, depending on the carrier. The Galaxy Tab A8 sees a slight refinement in design over its 2015 predecessor. An improved screen-to-body ratio makes it a little less squat, and the camera bump on the back is less pronounced. The frame is constructed of smooth polycarbonate, while the back is a glossy aluminium shell that easily picks up fingerprints and smudges. The tablet is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor clocked at 1.4GHz. It's a common processor for budget tablets, though at three years old it's nearing its expiration date. There is also 2GB of RAM, making the Tab A feel slightly snappier than tablets with 1 or 1.5GB of RAM, like the Fire HD8. Apps opened quickly and basic multitasking worked without a hitch in testing. We were even able to play Asphalt 8 without problems. Samsung Galaxy Tab 8 is nicely built, but a little pricey for what you get. Its compact size and long battery life make it a good option for media consumption or basic productivity tasks on the go, especially if you want access to Google Play. Buying Guide Firstly, screen size. As with laptops, screen size on tablets is measured diagonally from corner to corner and usually expressed in inches. Tablets typically fall into three categories – compact, 5 to 8 inch, medium, over 8 inch to 11 inches, and large, over 11 inches. Secondly, storage space. Most tablets vary in capacity from 16 to 128 gigabytes. How much space you'll need depends on how you intend to use the tablet. All tablets are fine for general use like checking emails, browsing the web and streaming videos and other content over the internet because that doesn't require much information to be actually stored on the tablet itself. Thirdly, screen resolution. Display resolution is expressed in pixels per inch (PPI), and the higher the resolution, the sharper the text and images will appear. The display resolution generally ranges from 1024 by 600 pixels up to 2560 by 1700 pixels. Higher resolution screens require faster processors to manipulate all those extra pixels and consume more power, affecting the device's battery life. And lastly, hardware connections. Although connections are a major consideration for PCs and laptops, they're less so for tablets, most of which use a combination of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and apps for storage and transfers. Apple tablets have little in the way of hardware connections, though some devices can be added via adapters to the tablet's dock port or wirelessly by purpose-built devices. Android tablets generally offer more variety in hardware connections, with a USB port, HDMI out or memory card slots for extra storage being common. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.